two, jamming on the one. Yeah. Jamming on the one. <laughs> this is Tom Lewis with Bostonist, and I'm here in Burbank. And I'm talking to Jen Kober about uh, the Nessun Comedy All-Stars show, which is going to start airing in May, um, and which is right around the corner. And uh, we're going to talk to her about what it was like to, to film uh, at the historic and renovated Wilbur Theater uh, uh, in December to talk about baseball, which is going to be happening like six <laughs> months later. So how did you how did you do that? Um, I We did it. I didn't... Um... I didn't particularly talk about baseball a lot, I have to be honest, because uh, I'm a Babe Ruth fan, which I don't think you're allowed to say in Boston anymore. And the truth is, <laughs> is that um, I just like the movie. I watch the Babe, I watch John Goodman in that movie, like it's on my DVR and I watch it mm -hmm. like almost every day. So that's like my exposure to baseball is from like 1920 <laughs> the, the something. 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so I don't even really, honestly, I couldn't name probably more than a handful of today's baseball players. Mm -hmm. But I do know that a lot of them are on the juice. That's true. <laughs> that's, what, that's all I hear about them. But mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's, it, was, it was so much fun to be in Boston and to feel that they, that's a sport-loving town. Sure. And to feel that from the crowd was really nice. I was like number 13 of 15. Wow. So I was nervous and really it it was so funny because uh Barry Katz came up to me and was just like look it's fourth quarter your team needs you like you just got to go out there and juice them up jazz them up let them know that they're in your house and you are here to play like he really gave me this nice like sure. sporty kind of pep talk and I was back there kind of doing some jumping jacks and like little push-ups on the stair I mean not push-ups but you know like sure bending I, right. Fat people bend. So I was, you know, bending near the stairs and like stretching out and I just got to go out there and really just, I had a really physical set. I moved around a lot. I got them all excited and it was, it just felt great because it was at a point in the night where everyone could have easily just been like, you were, you were, we've heard so many jokes. Like, you know, I just felt like I had to really get in there and punch it out. And I did. And it was so so gratifying at the end. You were you were Barry Katz's pinch hitter. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And he was, I mean, for him to have come up and said that to me right before I went out there was really just, I mean, I felt that and I was telling myself to do that, but like to have someone, uh, you know, in in a, an authority position say that to you and, and, and know that you're gonna go out there and do it makes you know that you're gonna go out there and do it. And I was just like, yeah! <laughs> like I was, I was jazzed. I was, I was fourth quarter, overtime, ball at the one yard line. We need to push through, and I through just there. did it. I just barreled through, and it, it felt great. And I think the crowd really appreciated it. And I think the, the two guys after me really appreciated it too, because it was, it was just one of those moments. You know, they'd just been there a long time, sure. and uh, right before I went on, they had even had an even more of a lull because they were like changing lights or something, oh. something technical. So. I mean, there was like a, a tw and they were like trying to keep people from going to the bar and the bathroom too much because they didn't, they wanted to go right when it was ready to go. So it right, was right. just, the the deck was stacked against old Jen Cobra and I sure. came out punching. So I was happy. It was beautiful. Like I don't get to that part of the country very often. Um, to me, those are just like the colony states up sure. there. I'm not even sure where one ends and the other one begins. They're very conglomerated it's together. Like the size of counties in yes, California. It's is so, what it is. it's so cute up there. Um, <laughs> but we, we um, down by the Wilbur Theater, we walked around a lot after the show and we got to really uh, see that little area. I'm not sure how to say it, but it's you're Trafalgar, like the, uh, Tra Trafalgar, Trafalgar, yeah, square that little square, and the Commons, yeah, the commons. and then that's where we were, and yeah. there were oh, I just remember seeing this hat shop that I was like, please open for me. You know, it was like two o'clock in the morning, sure. and I'm beating on the window. Uh, we went to some awesome little uh, restaurant down there, and when they and what was so funny is I had just done a um, one of those top 25 celebrity bad girls gone good kind of shows where they have comedians like Come talk about the celebrities. Sure. And mine was airing the night of the taping. Uh -huh. So I walk into this restaurant to eat and I'm on the TV Whoa. in Boston. And the guy was like, oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> we were like, oh my god, like why would this bar be playing this oxygen show, like this girly sort of celebrity countdown gossipy show that just did not like these were Boston people, right? Sure, and it sure. just it made me laugh so hard that that's what they had on uh, on the screen. And then when we walked in there, he just started bringing out food for us to eat. We didn't even have to order. I had some lobster macaroni and cheese that made me want to smack somebody. <laughs> it was so delicious. And and he, we had this um, a drink there in Boston that he made with um, liquid nitrogen. Does that oh, sound right? Right. Yeah. Like crazy cold. Sure. Some kind, I was like, they don't do this in Los Angeles. They, they don't do this in Louisiana. You're putting liquid nitrogen in my drink. I love that. Boston is winning now. Sounds They're like gaining bit. points in the places I'd like to hang out. Very, totally. You know. I was kind of looking for a Cheers kind of place. They just right. weren't open. Yeah. They, or or they weren't around. Where, listen, it was cold. Oh. Yeah. I am. I have got a lot of built-in insulation, and <laughs> I was freezing. <laughs> so I know the two little skinny bitches I was with were about to like shake into oblivion. Sure. So we couldn't really travel, go too much further than we went because. I was afraid they'd turn into popsicle sticks. It's exactly like how I wanted Boston to go. My 2009 Delicious Tour is in full swing. I am uh, hitting colleges and comedy clubs and theaters and all kinds of stuff uh, all through the summer. So, so, so through summer, um, if you're not coming directly into Boston, are you hitting New England? Or are you I will be hitting New England. I have okay. a lot of New England schools um, scheduled for the fall. Cool. So uh, you can find out all that information at jencober.com. Okay. And a little shameless a little plug bit. there. And, and uh, you've got a MySpace page. I have a MySpace page, a Facebook page, I sure. Twitter, your tweet, Twitter, your tweak. And are you at Jen Cober? I am Jen okay. Cober, yes. There you are. It's so simple. Well, we we uh, really appreciate you you talking to Boston us today and Thanks for having me. Yeah.